In this video, we will look at Revision Exercise 13, Part 1, Numerical Solutions of Equations. You will find this on page 571 in the Namibia AS Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. So, I want you, you can stop the video and you can do number 1 as well as number 2. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with part 1 of Revision Exercise 13. Number 1. The sequence of values given by the iterator formula, and there's the formula, with initial value x1 equals 3 converts to alpha. Use the iterator formula to find alpha correct to three decimal places, showing the results of each iteration. Okay, so let's start with number 1a. Now, I'm first going to write down the formula for you, in general. Okay, so it's 4 x to the power of n plus 306, then it's x to the power of n, then it's 4, and then it's close the bracket. Okay, now they want us to start with x1 is 3. So basically, I'm going to say, say x1, and then I'm going to put 3. But because I'm going to do it on the calculator, I basically, for the second one, so this is now, I'm just going to say 1 over 5, and if, and I'm just going to write, it is actually 3, but I'm going to now just write it for you like this, because we're going to program it, and then just press equal, equal, equal. So then it's going to be the answer to the power of 4 and close. So, but for the second one, so that is going to be actually how I'm going to start creating but putting the 3 in. So don't forget that you start by saying 3 equals. Now it's programmed in your calculator. Now you say 1 divide 5, okay. Uh, I, I'm going to say multiply, it's not necessary. But bracket, then 4 multiply answer plus bracket 306 divide answer to the power of 4, close the bracket, okay, remember what I did, I was putting an extra bracket there, so I have to close that <coughs> yellow bracket also, okay, and I, if I press then equal, I'm getting, for this yellow one now, Three comma one five five six. Remember, they said uh, using uh, showing results of it at least take four because they said three decimal places. So now for my x three or to continue on, I think I rather just going to show it like this. If I press up okay, like this, I don't want to make it a subtraction. Then just press equal again. Then I'm getting three comma one. 4168. And if I press equal again, I get 3, 1, 4, uh, 1, 5, 5. Okay, but if I approximate this to three decimal places, can I just show you here? So this one will be 3, 1, 5, 6. This one will be 3, 1, 4, one, oh, sorry, my pin, comma, one, four, two, and this one will be three, comma, one, four, two. Did you see what happened? It stays the same. And that, that's why I can say correct to three decimal places. Therefore, correct to three decimal places. Um, Alpha is equal to 3, 1, or 2. Let's just get that pen again. 1, or 2. And that is going to be my final answer. Okay. Okay. So that was number A. Let's continue with number B. Now the question, which is going to make space.
write down the equation satisfying pi alpha and ensure that the va exact value of this is this. Okay, so take this original. I actually could have, I'm just going to rewind. And sorry, but you have it on your paper. So I'm going to just work with my original, keep my original at least. And then I'm going to go to B. So if you look at previous examples, we put just X there. Just um, continue and just put all the X, leave the N's out. And then basically we just simplify the equation. Remember it's to the power of 4. Now, because this is actually over 5, so to get this one away, we can have 5X. And then it's 4X plus 306 over X to the power of 4. And then it's going to be 5x minus 4x equals 306 over x to the power of 4. If you simplify, you get x equals 306 x to the power of 4. Put it over 1, cross multiply, so x to the power of 5 is equal to 306. And now I see the light. just want to get this away from A. So basically, I just take the fifth root, this is the fifth root, and that is my final. So that is my exact, exact value, and that is what they say it shows, so I just came to the correct answer. And that's how you do it. Okay, that's number one. Let's look at number two. Let's just make space again. Okay. By sketching a suitable pair of graphs, show that the equation of this, there is the equation, has only one uh, root. Okay, so I first have to make a sketch. Now, but I think by this time, you are actually very good in sketching. So I think it will be, um, you have a lot of knowledge. But let me still go to the basics and help you. So there is the formula. Lin x equals 2 minus x squared has only one root. Now, create two formulas out of this, or two equations, two graphs. Okay. Now, I'm going to create this. Now, if you come, come to this chapter, you will already know, and, and just have it in your mind, that, that you know already that a Lin graph or y equals uh, log 2, you know, base. It's, it's looking like that. You, you know that. It's not, it's, it's only on this side. So, to create a table, because it's always going to help you. So, let's just create quickly a table there. Just to have it a little bit more exact. You don't have to be so exact, but at least use a ruler with one centimeter spaces. Okay, I'm going to try to fit it in there. The same for this one. Now, this one can go to both sides, but it depends. If the one don't go to, to the left-hand side, why will you take the other one? It's unnecessary. Okay, although I think I, I did it like that, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so if, if I go for this one, x, and this one, y, and this one, x, and this one, y. Okay, now I want to use different colors. So what which color will we make this one? Yellow. Oh, no. I started there, let's go a little bit back, not even yellow. Make this one green and make this one blue. Okay, and now let's start filling in. Let's first start with the green. Now we know it cannot be zero, you cannot get lot, it's error. Okay, but it, it's, it's cutting the graph there at one, we know that. But let's make 0 0.5, just to go a little bit closer to this y-axis. Then okay, we can make one and we can make two. I think it's fine. Then take your calculator and press on your calculator. Just substitute. Say a len and then say 0 0.5. I think one decimal place is enough because it's just a sketch. So ne negative 0 0.7. And then len one, len one is zero. We know that. And then len2, it's um, 0 0.7. Okay. And then, now for this one, okay, we can now first sketch this one, but because we, know, we can start with 0, at least we start with 0 there. 
We know that this one starts with 0 0.5, so it's just going there. So if I make this one 0, I can go negative 1, negative 2, it's fine, but I don't think it's necessary. So 2 minus 0, it's just going to be 2. 2 minus 1, it's just going to be 1. And then 2 minus 4, okay, and that uh, is going to be negative 2. Okay. Okay, so let's do the graph. I'm just going to, okay, it's only on one side, so we can just start here. I want to make it a bit closer to that line. And then we can also here. Okay, and then we can basically just quickly mark it. So this is zero, this is, um, let's make this one and this two. But we make this. Um, 1, I think it's fine, 2, and we make this negative 1 and negative 2. Okay, and then we can just quickly plot it, start with the green, so 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.7. And then 1 and 0, and then 2 and 0 0.7. So if we create that, it's going to be like that. Okay. Then we go for the blue one, and it's 0 and 2. Uh, 0 and 2. And 1 and 1. And then 2 and negative 2. And then we create it like this. Okay. Now, from this graph, and this is very important that you say this, that there is only, you can say, therefore, I just want to spray, just want to mark this. So this is the graph y equals ln x, and this is the graph, no, this is the graph, um, yes, that's great. Okay. Okay, let me rather just write it over. This is the graph y equals 2 minus, I was incorrect, now it's correct. And the green one is the y, y equals ln x. Okay, and now, so I'm going to end off by saying, therefore, therefore, there is one point, is one point of intersection section so the equation ln x equals 2 minus x squared as only one root Okay, and that will be how you do number A. Let's continue with number B. Okay, let's start with number B. Verify by calculation that this root lies between x is 1.3 and x is 1.4. Okay, now if, if ln x equals 2 minus x squared, we can go and say let if x, and it's a small letter f, is equal, I'm taking everything to one side. Or basically, let's take this to this side. So it's ln x minus 2 plus x squared. Okay. And then we're going to say f, and we're going to say 1.3, and that's ln 1.3 minus 2 plus 1.3 squared and just press everything in your calculator and you get negative 0 0.0476 so then 1.3 minus 2 plus bracket 1.3 squared and you get that then we go and we do exactly the same with 1.4 and when we say len 1.4 minus 2 plus 1.4 squared, and then we get positive 0 
5. And then we end by saying, therefore, the change of sign in indicates presence of a root between x is equal to 1.3 and x is equal x is equal to 1.4 and that's how you do number b and then show if a sequence of values given by the iterator formula this converges then it converges to the root of the equation in part A. So let's just make space again and we keep A. Okay, let's go for this. So number C. So I say, I'm basically just going to start by saying in the place of this x to the power n, I just put x. And then I'm just putting there 2 minus lin x and that is going to be x and then it's just going to be square equals 2 minus lin x and if I take it over because it's negative I get 2 minus x squared so therefore as in a and there you had that okay so a root of a, now number d and that will be my final one Number D, use the iterator formula to determine the root correct to two decimal places, given the results of each iteration to four decimal places. It's nice if they say, otherwise just make it at least one or two more. Uh, two is actually better. I just want, because they said 1.3 and 1.4, they don't give you a starting value. And the best is just to start there in the middle. So I'm basically just going to say... Choose any value between 1.3 and 1. So um, make x1, I'm going to make it in the middle, 1.35. And then don't forget that I'm, I'm putting it in the formula basically like this. So if I go for the second one or the third one, um, I'm just going to say, and I'm going to use it, press it, um, calculate it, program it into my calculator. So it's going to be 2 minus uh, lin. And then it's and I, I program answer there. So basically, that's how I'm going to do that. But let me just take my calculator and tell you what I do. Press 1.35 and press equal. Now it's programmed in your calculator. And then I'm going to get then square root, and I prefer a bracket, so 2 minus um, len answer equals and I get 1.3038 now it's actually good if you say the third one and press equal is 1.3171 let's just move up and the fourth one equals 1.3131 and the fifth one equals 1.3143. Now, if you, if you approximate this, and they said every time to two decimal places, so let me just show you. In this case, it was 1.30. In this case, it was 1.32. And in this case, it was 1.31. And in this case, it was 1.31. So, therefore, correct to two decimal places, x is equal to 1.31. And that's how you do number D. In the second part of revision exercise 13, I will do number 3 as well as number 4.